heart failure is an incredibly common condition. The estimate is that there's over six million people in our country with heart failure. And as we've gotten better at caring for a number of cardiac diseases, and as the population has grown, we're actually seeing an increased number of heart failure cases as patients age. So it's become a very important aspect of cardiac care. There are multiple ways that new technologies are helping with the care of heart failure patients. We're now able to see patients remotely when they don't live close to a, a medical center that specializes in heart failure care. We're able to do something called telemonitoring where we bring technologies into the patient's home and we can monitor their um, cardiac status remotely. And we're able to connect with colleagues who are remote from our center to help them with uh, their care of their heart failure patients as well. CardioMEMS is a fascinating new technology. It is a wireless pressure sensor that can be implanted into the pulmonary artery of a patient during a cardiac catheterization. It allows that patient to transmit to the physician via the internet their day-to-day -day cardiac pressures, which then allows the, pa the physician to make adjustments in patient medication and, we think, improve overall patient outcomes. The CHAMPION trial uh, looked to see whether the CardioMEMS device would be effective at keeping patients with heart failure out of the hospital and improving their overall clinical course. It found that there was a 35% reduction in hospitalizations in patients who had the device placed and where their physician was able to access the data from the device to allow for more aggressive and more tailored medication adjustments. The Heart Failure Case Conference is a new endeavor that we have begun in the last several months where we're trying to link cardiologists from throughout our system, many of whom are remote from our main academic center, in a monthly teleconference to discuss complex heart failure cases. This allows the physicians to be more connected with us, for us to be able to keep them up to date on new technologies, new therapies for heart failure, and for us to give an expert opinion on their challenging heart failure cases. I think new technologies offer an enormous amount of promise for heart failure, whether it is being able to see patients remotely, whether it's being able to connect with physicians who are remote from the main institution, or whether it's using new devices in the home to monitor patients and to be able to adjust therapies more carefully, I think all of these are going to improve heart failure outcomes in the long run.